Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Coffee Center. It has so many conveniences. The thing I like about it is it combines a full-size coffee maker here with a single-serve unit here. So sometimes on the weekend, my husband and I like to hang around the house and read the paper. We make a full pot of coffee, and we kind of just lazily enjoy it. But during the week, when we're in a big hurry to get to work, we like to make our coffee and get right on the road. So that's why I love having a single serve unit here because you can make one or two cups, there's no cleanup and you're on your way and out of the house. So let's talk about the 12 cup um, coffee maker on this side. It has a lot of great features. Um, this is your control knob. This is the one that you're gonna use to program your coffee maker. So you can program it to go um, off at, um, at a certain time. So we, it's usually between um, zero minutes and an, and an hour. And that's really great because if you're in a hurry like I am most of the time, you don't have to worry about forgetting to turn your coffee maker off when you're leaving the house. This is your auto on function. It'll light up when it's programmed to go auto on. That's if you want to make a full pot of any amount of coffee. Um, it will go off during, it'll go on during any 24 hour period. So it automatically brews your coffee. So if you know that you get up every day at a certain time and you want your coffee at eight o'clock, you can program to do that for you. And then you can program it to go off afterwards. So this is your auto off function. That's how you're going to program it. And you also, um, most importantly, that's your brew function. And then lastly, on the very bottom, that's your clock function. That's how you're going to set your clock by holding down. See how it was blinking? You're going to hold this down until it starts blinking and then you can change the time. I'm going to set it on 8, whoops, 9 o'clock. You can also change the minutes doing the same thing. Hold it down and if you hold it down you can see it quickly advances. I'm just going to put it on 35. It'll flash a few times. Once it stops the program um, has taken place. So the other thing is there's a bold button here so when, you, when it's lit it'll brew your coffee so it's a little bit bolder. And then on this side, this is your carafe temperature. What this is for is if, for instance, I like to put a lot of milk in my coffee, so you want the coffee to be a little bit hotter when you start out so it doesn't get too cool after you add the milk, you would set this on high. So you have low, medium, and high. I prefer using high. My husband, on the other hand, takes his coffee completely black. He may want to use the low setting because it won't be overly hot when he wants to drink it, and he can start drinking right away. So this is your carafe. It has a nice pour spout. It also has a brew pause function so that if you are impatient and you can't wait till the whole pot's done brewing, you can sneak a cup in between and put it back in and it'll continue brewing for you. It also has uh, measure markings here. This is helpful when you're gonna actually fill the water reservoir up and it's calibrated um, appropriately to actually come up to the right amount of cups based on how much you put in here. So the other thing is it has a nice wide handle and stainless insert, so it's easy to hold and grip and pour when your coffee is done brewing. So let's open the lid and look in the top. This is your shower. This is where the water comes out, and you notice it has a lot of holes and it's a very large surface area. That actually um, helps in dispersing the water very efficiently over the entire surface of the ground coffee so you get a better tasting coffee. So in here we have our permanent filter. This is completely reusable. I prefer this because you just dump out the grinds. You can put the grinds in your compost. It's really great for your garden. And then you can just rinse this out and reuse it. Another option is a paper filter. And we give you a few to start. When you put your paper filter in, you're supposed to fold this over like so. And believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that. I will tell you, I only learned that very recently myself. And then you put it in like so, and it fits much better than if you're trying to jam it in there without folding, folding it. So some people prefer a paper filter because it removes the majority of the sediment. When you use the reusable filter, it tends to have a little more ground. You'll see a little more like sediment in the bottom of your coffee pot. But either way, you know, it makes for a great cup of coffee. So what we're going to do is I put eight cups. I'm just going to turn this around so you can see it. This is your water reservoir. We filled it up in advance for eight cups. So now I'm just going to sh start brewing a pot of coffee by adding um, one scoop per cup. So it'll be eight scoops. So that's what we recommend. You can adjust accordingly. So two, three, four, five. 
five, six, seven, and last one, eight. So I'm going to start brewing a full pot, and I'm going to talk to you about the single serve unit. So we're just going to turn this on. Now, I just want to make one mention of something because a lot of coffee pots, you just plug them in and the, they power up automatically. This unit has a power switch on the side here. I'm just going to turn it off so you can see and then turn it back on so you can see it lights up. Make sure you have that on because the first time I use this, I made the mistake and I didn't have it powered up properly. So we're going to start brewing by just pressing the brew button and it'll start brewing for you while we talk about our single serve um, unit. Like I said, it's super convenient to have a combination unit with both. What you do is, this is your um, lid. What you do is you um, just put a K-cup right in here, any type that you like. And um, you also, it also comes with this Home Barista reusable filter. Just open the lid. This is the filter part, and what you're going to do is, um, if you prefer to use this and not actually um, use store-bought K-cups, you would just put your ground coffee directly in there, put it back in the filter basket, close the lid, remove this, and then you would be able to put your reusable filter right in there, close it. Pick the actual serving size that you want, press it, and then you will um, start brewing coffee. So let me show you how to do it if you're just going to use a regular K-cup. So I'm just going to line this back up. The arrow goes in the back, and you just close this. So what we're going to do is take any type of K-cup that you want. Like I said, regular coffee, tea hot cocoa, there's also soups. You just pop it in, press the lid down, put your cup here. Now, at this point, if you're going to be doing a travel mug, you remove this drip tray and you slide your travel mug right in, right in there. The drip tray is completely cleanable. You can put it right in the dishwasher, rinse it in the sink, pop it back in. So I just wanted to let you know, I waited until this was completely brewed so that I could show you how to use your single serve portion of the unit. Um, even though these are completely independently operating coffee makers, you can only use one at a time. So you're either going to be brewing a full pot or you can be using your single serve. And what will happen though is like when you're brewing, the lights on this will go off and it won't be operational. So just keep that in mind when you're um, using your coffee maker. So you just press um, the appropriate size for how much coffee you want to brew using your K-cup and um, it'll start brewing. You'll notice here there's two functions. One says add water, and the other one says clean. The teardrop, which is shaped like a little teardrop of water, um, that'll light up when you uh, don't have enough um, water in your water reservoir. And when this is done brewing, I'll show you the water reservoir because it's um, removable. The other thing is that um, the clean light will go on when it's time to clean your coffee maker. We actually recommend you do it at least once a month. That's really important to um, keep it in optimal functionality. So, um, like I said, the really cool thing about this is it's not much bigger than one normal full-size coffee maker, um, and you get lots of great use out of it. It's really convenient and easy to use. So as soon as this is done brewing, um, I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the coffee maker. So now that that's done, I just want to show you here um, in the back is your um, removable reservoir. It's 40 ounces. You can see it has a max fill and a minimum fill. If you get below the minimum fill, you won't be able to make a, a, a cup of coffee. So just keep that in mind. And inside is your water filter holder. So that's really cool. It filters out uh, chlorine's um, taste and odor just slides on the back of the unit like so. And then this is your little lid that you use to cover it up. The other thing is, I don't think I mentioned that um, this coffee maker portion also has a water filter holder. You put your little water filter in there, you slide it in, and it also does the same for the full-size coffee maker. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Coffee Center. It's convenient and easy to use, and it takes up very little space on your kitchen counter.